Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to my channel. If you've not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and grow with me, learn with me. And we're here to create and educate and do reviews. So today's video is actually on a review from an Amazon um, rechargeable drill. Electric nail e-file. It's the Bestity. Not exactly quite sure how to pronounce it, but we're going to go with that. Um, I tried it out. I got it because it was so pretty, to be quite honest. And I've never used a rechargeable uh, electric file, so I wanted to give that a whirl. So stay tuned, hit the like and subscribe button, and if you have any comments or any questions, please feel free to drop them in the section below, and I will get back to you with every bit of knowledge that I have to offer. Thanks, and have a great day. Today I am going to do a review on one of the electric files that I got off of Amazon. Currently, I use the Manny Pro. I have used several over the last 20 years. Um, I've used several of the Medicool. They tend to last me less than a year usually. Um, the last one bit the dust after about six months because I dropped it like an idiot. And if you drop it, mm, you'll bend the snot out of those. And then it's all wobbly, and it does not feel good for your clients and it's god awful. So Manny Pro is generally what I was always told was a good company. I'm not mad about the power with it or anything like that. My only complaint with this one is I like a twist chuck and this doesn't have that. But today's review is not about the Manny Pro. I just wanted to show you what I currently am using. And I purchased this off of Amazon. Um, I believe it was around $65. It is the portable and it's the best, best tidy, B E S T I D Y. Um, it was really cute the way it looked. So here's how it came after I got it out of the Amazon box. It's got a nice little holographic box, electric nail drill kit. So it's a nice little box on the back here. It's got all its specifications. The rated voltage is a 12 volt, 250 M amp. Uh, gives you your speeds. Okay. So this pops off. And here we go for this. So this is the user manual. Different languages. See this little thing right here? Closed, open, twist, lock. This is what I love in any kind of electric file. I do not like to use electric files that do not have that. This actually has a USB output and a charging port for uh, micro USB or so I thought that I read that you can charge your phone with this battery pack oh this is nice this is super nice this tells you what all your little drill bits are for do you know how many people don't know what they're for that's a whole nother video that we will go over on another day today is not that day but if you want to familiarize yourself with some of the things i'm going to try and get together 
uh, video for that in the future, so keep a lookout for this. Okay, so this is packaged nice and neat. Isn't it pretty? I'm just so in love with the colors of this. I don't know if it works, if it doesn't work. I just love the colors. I think this is fantastic. It's got the clip, you know, so because it's portable, clip it onto your pocket, your hip, whatever. There's all our little ports that I'll have to figure out. This obviously controls your speed on off. Not sure what the status is because it's not turned on yet. Mind you, I've not charged this. I basically pulled this out of the Amazon box, brought it here so that I could film the video. So I will probably have to stop and charge it. Look at how pretty. I just love the colors. All right, so here's my twist lock that I keep talking about. Ooh. It's almost spring-loaded. I'm not used to that. It's kind of nice. It's okay. All right. That's kind of cool. It, it, yeah. Okay. So if you lift this up, here we go. So this is a basic kit that comes with a lot of your Amazon nail kits, nail file kits. Um, you usually get two uh, fine sanding bands, two medium sanding bands, two coarse sanding bands, your mandrill, and all your other little pieces and parts there, which they cover in here. They give you a bag of, are these mixed? or mediums well it doesn't exactly say what it is so unless it says in the manual it looks like they're mixed it looks like there's a variety of sizes so it's a little package of those out ah okay so this clicks right on the side and then you should be able to hear it click into place there you go so that this will sit into that so that's how that goes these are quartz here okay so here's the USB charging port so one side there one side there. Oh. This is going to be a little bit stuck here. Oh, let's get the scissors out. Crack those open. Take a mandrel out. See, that's not good. But like I said, these are cheap generic things that just come with most of your Amazon drills or e-files so I don't really care about these I buy different ones I don't use these I th usually think those are pretty much a piece of junk so I don't really care these on the other hand you don't work without so let's see I'm not a rocket scientist and I've used electric files for a lot of years so what's the problem Bob Ah, okay. It's just snugger than I'm used to. It's not quite as loose, which is a good thing. So, okay. 
So see, it's in there nice and secure. It's not coming out. Let's see, I don't think it's been charged yet. Oh, look, it is. Oh, it's even turned on. What, what, what am I doing here? So status, FO3, P47. F, I, I, I don't know what that is. That definitely controls my speed. Let's just shut off. I don't know what those numbers mean yet. I'm probably going to have to look that up. But what I am going to do is I am going to get out one of my zebra sanding bands. Place it on my mandrel bit. Let's turn this puppy back on. Down on. Oh, let's go on three. Sorry about my boo-boo. My nails are a hot mess. I haven't done anything with these suckers, and I don't have the best nails anyway. I do nails. I don't have good nails. It feels smooth. I like that. I'm not doing a bunch of damage, so I can control the speed with that. Definitely, for sure. Yeah. I mean, that's that's nice. How far up does it go? Now, it says it goes up to 30,000 RPM. So, you can hear it, but it's still relatively quiet. I don't need it that high for sure. My only concern would be does it get hot? I don't know if it's going to get hot while I'm using it. But to charge it, We just plug it in. I don't know how long the charge goes yet. Pop that in like that. And away you go. So maybe tomorrow while I'm working, I will go ahead and try this out. I will charge it overnight. And I will come back tomorrow and I will let you know how it works while I am doing a client. Um, I will also see if there's any other information that I find out about this that I might be able to pass along to you guys. As of right now, this is what it stands. And I will get back to you with the second half of this.
Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have completed doing my client her whole service with this so I can give you my final opinions on things. Um, first of all, I wasn't sure what some of these things meant. F is for forward. You would have thought that I would have figured that out. If you need to change it to reverse, you can switch the button up here. That'll switch it over to reverse. Then it's R. Ooh, yeah, no, we don't want that. So you have your positive and negative controls. Ooh, wait, that's super speed. What the heck? Stop. Okay, you just need to go off. P is for power, 46. Um, when I first opened this, it had a power charge of about 37, which was fine. I could test it out. But I charged it overnight with the cord that they gave me in the box. I plugged it in. And I plugged it into just a basic block. It did not charge at all. I charged it with a Samsung block that I used for my phone. And it started charging immediately. What it does is it'll say P... 47, 48, whatever the status is, and it'll start to blink. I charged it up to 50 before I started uh, working on my client today, and it only went down, you could see to 46. Honestly, I did most of my work at the forward at the number three mark. I hardly moved it out of the num out of um, the number three range. I didn't need to. It was perfectly fine. It's off. I did put it on my waistband while I was working, which made it a little difficult. I couldn't see the numbers while I was working. I kind of had to look over my shoulder at it, or over my hip, over my shoulder, oh my goodness gracious. I don't know if I really needed to really look at it to see what it was doing, but I wanted to, you know, I wanted to investigate, it's new. It's relative, it's not super heavy, but it's not so lightweight that it feels like I could whip it across the room. Um, one of my concerns was I was worried that the handle was going to get warm and it did not. So there's a plus there. As for electric nail drill files, e-files, I'm not mad about this one. Um, I've used much worse. That's for sure. I've had ones that have so much vibration, it's ridiculous. This does not have a ton of vibration. I even double checked with my client and she said it felt nice and smooth. So I don't like a lot of vibration in it. That just tells me that something's off, something's not quite right. But I like this. I will definitely use this. I don't know how long it'll last for, but there you have it. That is my review for this Amazon nail drill e-file for those of you that are in the business and know it's not called a nail drill. My gosh, I hate when they post it like that. But there you have it. I love the colors. I just can't say that enough. And thank you for watching and staying with me. I hope that you've learned something. If you're interested, these are on sale for about $65 on Amazon right now. And they are prime. So it's a nice little handy gadget to have, especially if you're going to be doing pedicures. You don't have to worry about plugging something in um, if you're going to use a fine band on natural toenails. Something to think about. Have a great day, everybody, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.